Hello everyone, welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon, a an episode. I'm just going to record one episode today, so expect the next episode to be just as awkward as the start of this one. Uh, in the last episode, we came back from a very victorious run against the 12-pounder, the cannon, to find this town event of everybody being, for some reason, happy, <clears throat> which is obviously not something that I have really fostered in this estate, but... You know, we've got lots of level 5 people and a few level 6 people, so maybe it's just the fact that all these heroes are around. You know, all strong and buff and doing really well, which means every single person who has got any amount of stress is currently, for free, being de-stressed. There is a fate going on, a time of revelry, a time of revelry. Off with his head. Uh, which means we haven't got that many people left. <clears throat> so what we should probably think about doing is, look, as soon as I start a Darkest Dungeon episode, my voice goes to shit. <coughs> I can't speak, I'm coughing, I'm croaky. Uh, uh, uh. So, we could do either a low-level run with Sir Jairus or a medium-ish level to high-level run with Ellie, but we want to get some cash. So I guess what we do is we see what the options are, you two go away, and then decide what to do afterwards. We could go to the Darkest Dungeon, that's scary. We really want to level people up now. There is a level after level 6. But I think the way it works is you only get XP at level 6 if you do a Darkest Dungeon. But when you do, you will level up and you will become... There's a, a sort of a, a highest level, which is Veteran or something. When you get a Veteran unit... They don't count towards the roster anymore, so you can start bringing in people from below. So that's when we, if we manage to get there, we either, people either die, or they become veterans. In either case, we will have space in the roster for dismissible people, of whom we currently have kind of none, because this payers person is actually doing pretty well, but I'm still probably going to get rid of them uh, when they stress out completely. So... What are our options? There's a level 3 medium mission, which could be okay. I'm kind of not sure about the length of this. Let's talk about the length. Uh, the length, I believe, is the number of pips. And then the difficulty is the colour. So we've actually got a short apprentice mission, which could be really good for collecting some money. Uh, we've also got some high-level long missions. Wait, that's long and that's medium. Yeah, that's right. Uh, level 5 gather stuff. So we don't want to do any of these medium missions. We don't really want to do a veteran mission. Maybe we do. 100% of rune battles could be worthwhile. Maybe we want to do something that... We, I can't. Basically, we want to do something that's over quickly. Unfortunately, we can't actually do the level 1 mission because these people are level 3. So Jairus is level 2, but they're the only person who can actually go on this mission, so that's not going to work. So I guess we try and do maybe the easiest mission that we think we can find. And honestly, at this point, the Swine God, good grief. What else have we got here? The Necromancer Lords. So this is probably the third level of these two story arcs. I think we try and do this medium mission. Now, we will start off with some things in our inventory, but they will be used up as we go along. Including not just the three things for this, but also the camping equipment. And if we're going to do that, maybe we should look into upgrading certain people. Um, this is a level 3, so we can take level 4s and level 3s. We can actually take New Doug, because New Doug, all these people actually did really, really well. Now I'm thinking maybe if we took New Doug and Ellie and Raikuda and Brian. This is not actually a bad party, because obviously there's a lot of DPS in Raikuda here. There's a lot of tanking in Brian, and Ellie has just always done really well all the time. The We just invigorate everyone all the time. <laughs> That'll do. Um, and occasionally we can stab, and that usually works out pretty well as well. So this seems like a decent party. No one's got any actual diseases, although we do have certain uh, things that will cause them to activate things that we don't want them to. We all know how that works. Um, but I think... That seems like a decent set of things to do. Alternatively, we could try and... Well, we can't really take Sajiris into a veteran medium mission. That would probably go horribly, horribly wrong. Um, we wanted a short level 3 mission at best, I suppose. Yeah, this seems decent, but maybe we can upgrade these people. So let's go back and have a look at the people who are on the roster right now. 
Uh, we should definitely upgrade the healing skills here. Um, that one and that one. The other ones we don't really tend to make much use of unless we want to try and stun. So I'm going to hold off on those for now. Now. Uh, I keep right clicking when I want to. Pardon me? There we go. Um, I guess we continue with the invigorating vapors. Adding dodge to our units can only really be a good thing. This seems decent. Although I believe it can fail in the same way that a normal guard can fail. Um, but it does put protection on presumably them. So we could just use that on Brian if we think we're going to be hit. But I guess we just keep keep up with the invigorating vapors. Being able to heal for 2-3 to three is actually probably quite useful as well. And we, we are going out for a money run, so we should we should invest at this point, I think. Raccoon is already well stocked. Let's open up Open Bane there as well. Uh, Brian, you are not really going to be getting anything else that I care for. Which ones do you even have normally? Select? We don't tend to use Purge. We don't really use Withstand either. Back... Does that do any good? It's a lot of um, debuff. I'll pay for the next level of it and see how much we use it now. But I don't really think we're going to be using it too much. Uh, nope, not this one. I want the blacksmith. Can we upgrade this in any respect? Not. Well, I was going to say not quite, but not at all. Uh, but that's only going to be one level of uh, price reduction, which is fine. At this stage, these people are not that expensive anyway. Probably should have done that. Never mind. Uh, and let's see how much money we come back with, if any. Now, let's get our trinkets out as well. Trinkets, trinkets, trinkets. Always remember the trinkets. Trinky, trinky. Okay. More stun resist, blight resist, bleed resist, less match XP. Where are we going? Warrens. There's some disease in there. Blight and Bleed. Those seem like things we get in the Warrens, especially Blight. And then more heals. That seems like a great idea. That will definitely pair up with... Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's right. The Vestals, usual two. Luckily, it's the only two that are highlighted when you select a Vestal. So at least we don't have to think about that too much. What do we want Raikuda to be doing? We're going to be dancing around. Maybe we do the Erasmus trick and use the, the speed trinket. The quick draw. But maybe we don't. Because for Erasmus, it's actually a few turns before we get back to a position where we want Erasmus to be going first again. And at that point, <clears throat> it's usually not that important. It's actually important for Erasmus to get the first go. To, or Martinez, either of them. Stab really hard. Boom. Get to the front. Move everyone into the right position and then continue. In this situation, we don't actually mind that Raikud is in the second position, nor do we really want to actually get them to have a huge amount of... Because the, the character doesn't have a massive crit chance like the Grave Robbers do. So actually getting them to go first is not necessarily quite so important as it would be for a Grave Robber who is already in the wrong position, needs to get out of that position and could benefit from a massive crit as the first attack. So maybe we just try and use some of these accuracy things. We're probably going to be shooting a lot. <clears throat> we're probably going to be using the shooting and the stabbing. So we're basically going to be doing both. Ranged. Don't really have anything that will benefit. Specifically for the highwayman, the range. The... the uh, melee skills, but we may find something that just straight up does more damage. In position 1. That might do it, actually, because... Oh, uh, no. It will be a range from position 1. <clears throat> oh, that'll work. Right? Just way more damage on range skills. And then if... If Raikuda is in position 1 and chooses to use uh, an open vein or something, that will also do more damage, if it does any damage at all. Yeah, it does a fair amount of damage anyway. So Duelist Advance will not do so much damage. And Point Blank Shot will not benefit from the plus 10... Oh, that will benefit from this and this. But if we choose to do something like this, we can still benefit from this. So half the time this will... Oh, maybe we'll just give that to... <sighs> I'm really thinking this now. I've talked myself out of it, to be honest. 
because neither of these two units is going to be predictably in the first position. So maybe we just do something that is always interesting. Um, always doing more damage. Like that. Or well, damage versus Eldritch. Are we do an Eldritch ring? I'm sure we have an Eldritch ring, yeah. And then this one can be damage versus... Oh, you've already got your things. Uh, you usually take books. Do we have an antiquarian trinket yet? Do they exist? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Uh, more accuracy, not that great. Less surprise is good. More su I think we just do that. Um, this unit is so much of a support unit and of course a collecting stuff unit. Uh, we're going to be mostly using buffs. So... There's no reason to give them anything that's going to improve their damage or anything. So I think that's okay. We'll now provision and hope for the best. <clears throat> there are three of these, but we're going to be using them as we go along, so I won't worry too much about that at this stage. I will take that much of this. I'll take a couple of shovels. They're very expensive is the problem with those. Maybe we take less food, because we're already taking some uh, medicinal herbs. I assume they come from the leper. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's take just one stack of food, because we are going to the Warrens, where you tend to find food all the fucking time. Which is gross. But okay. We'll take one key in case we find a secret room. <coughs> we will take one more shovel, therefore. And I think that'll probably do it. Let's go. I fully expect our packs to be absolutely full, but we still need to finish the dungeon before we can go home and, you know, keep the rewards, which is a shame, because the amount of stuff we're going to be finding... Our packs are going to fill up fast, is, is the problem here. This is an interesting shape. I think what we might do is we go this way. Um, excuse me. We go this way. Do as much of these sort of zigzaggy rooms as we can. This gives us a lot more of an opportunity to decide when to camp. If we find that we're doing badly, we can camp early. But we've got a lot more rooms around here to sort of extend the journey until we've decided that we don't want to camp anymore. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to scout more easily uh, as we go along. Well, I'm glad I picked up... Such blockages are unsurprising. Shovels. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Make sure to keep the light up. We don't really have anything that hugely benefits from these lights, but from a high torch light. Apart from our stress levels. And a trap. Well, thanks for the extra fucking scouting chance. Nothing has shown up except for this. I'm not putting the torch in there. No sorry. At some point, we're going to have to fight and win against one of those things, but... I kind of don't want to, so... How about no? Ooh, that's a really good scout, because it means we don't necessarily have to deal with all of this shit. Is a quest item anywhere? No? Quest location, quest location. So obviously we're going to be going that way. There is a battle here. There's a battle there and an obstacle there. So yeah, no reason not to go this way. And try, for goodness sake, to remember not to step on this trap. One more step from the torch. No, you're supposed... What's the fucking point in bringing an antiquarian? I can't make the antiquarian do the things because the... Stood on a trap! Watch your step. Fucking stood on the trap. You absolute twat. Look. I was too busy complaining about the fact that the person who's not supposed to do the thing is doing the thing. The shrine has been decimated. Desecrated? I don't know. Well, I guess we fight. Um, I would very much like it if Ellie would at least have the opportunity to interact with some of these things. But, I don't know. I'm half expecting it just won't happen. I guess we go for the ones at the front so that we can... Oh, a repost, of course. Perfect. <clears throat> so we can hit it with this unit is what I was going to say. Anything that's got damage at the front is going to be better off for us because that unit there will be able to hit it. Uh, Ellie took some damage, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We probably want a huge to try and get rid of this. I mean, I'm, ooh, that was really good. I'm wondering whether Purge is actually more useful than I give it credit for, but honestly, 
We just beat the shit out of that, so I don't really care. Excellent. That's plus 30% heals on that unit, which is very nice. That went really well. We all, of course we're going to find things like that from winning a fight, which is also really nice. Fucking hell. So, we definitely have to make sure that we don't bring with an antiquarian any unit that will usurp the antiquarian's job. Mostly now we're hoping to find battles so that we can actually have the antiquarian be there when the fight ends and therefore we get cool stuff like this. Don't forget of course it will increase our capacity um, for... Did I know about that? I don't think I did. It will increase our capacity for gold which is also very really useful. And here is our food. Wow, Skr. Okay, sweet. Another thousand gold as well. And presumably Doug is going to know. You can fucking do it. Yeah. Sort it out. Look. I realise we're stressing out these units, but I have put every single unit I have into stress relief for free. And I'm going to be bringing, out, bringing back a fair amount of goodies as well to pay for this journey. That we can use to put all those high level people into a... Uh, so you can put into their armor and stuff. You know, just upgrades for them. I'm going to keep hewing because it seems to do really well. And we have surprised them, but don't be fooled by that. Because we won't get fooled again. I wish I'd brought the stun. You two should swap places. Just so I can use this. I mean, it doesn't really help that much, I guess. Reasonably high dodge back there, but... Yeah, I'm going to swap places with these two whilst I can. Um, I guess it doesn't matter too much at this point. Repost. And then... Uh, new Doug there will be able to attack those with the debuff that gets rid of their dodge, so in future Raikuda can actually have a s stand a stronger chance of hitting them, basically. That's what we like to see. Vomit is... gross. Yeah. That's a bit of a problem. The fact that that is so commonly just straight up a disease is a bit of a shame, but I suppose you've got to get diseases somehow, otherwise it wouldn't even have any purpose in the game. Vomit on Raikuda, but at least you got hit back. You didn't really collect anything except for the stress. That stress is pretty um, pretty painful, but of course it's the more things hit Raikuda, the more damage gets done for free passively as a result of the repost, so bring it on I guess. Still not dead. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, now that you're in this position, I want you to do healing. So. Ow. Clarified in a single strike. Well, thanks for resisting everything. That actually really helps. Do you have the thing that lets you... That's a Vestal, in it? Well, we'll hew this, try and get rid of the corpse. Bring these two closer. Oh, you created another corpse. Of course you did. You. Could you do you not have anything that... Yeah, you can heal yourself for 6 HP. That's actually really good. Look at all those resistances you get. <sighs> May have to think about using that in future. I'm going to heal myself, or I'm going to get Doug the second to heal himself, who's or herself, because Vestal's a canonically female in the game. Uh, thank you for just killing that whilst I was chatting on about that. Basically, because we don't want a healer to die whilst everyone else lives, because that doesn't really seem that valuable. Um... I mean, I don't want it to die right now. We haven't got any, um... <laughs> we haven't got any bandages. But what we can do is make you eat a little bit. Just eat until you full, basically. Yeah, you're full. Uh, everyone do it. And you. Because of this. 250 gold and even more food. So you should be okay for a while. Everyone get back in position, but unfortunately I'm going to have to... You can't reset the default party order, which is a pain in the ass. There's no way of dragging them around now. Did you have the stun? No. That's okay. In fact, you're preferred in that position, which I didn't realise when we started out, which is a shame. As I said, I'm only doing one run today. Um, so... 
Obviously, I'm going to have my normal, what the fuck am I doing, how do I play this game bullshit going on. Still full. Well, get rid of that. Uh, I am kind of impressed that I remembered the trinkets. So let's just focus on that, really, shall we? Uh, I'm not a fan of this. Kill that and set repost. Well, not kill it, but damage that. It's only two damage, but that's okay. The mark is not great, because I think this thing will respond to that. Uh, I think we do this, quite honestly. Having the extra protection is gonna help against that. <laughs> I think we camp now. That would make some sense. Uh, invinigrate everybody, make sure that we have some dodge, which is apparently of zero use to us. And at least now you get the option to do this with a fucking amazing crit, which I am rubbing my eyes right now to try and comprehend. We open. Uh, I guess we point blank shot this, which is a lot of damage. And the knockback. Brilliant. Actually, really, really good. Can you kill this? You can't. I think I will get you to continue to improve our dodge then, because. Ev look, everyone else will deal with it. Don't worry, Ellie. You've grown up to have got the hang of this. You used to stay at the back and be useful. Look pretty. Fucking A. That's what happens when you mess with Raikuda. Don't. Bit painful, but uh, as mentioned, just stay behind the grown ups, Ellie. Grown ups will protect you, and you can do the thing that you do best fertile around inside things and find valuables. That's your job. Probably could have uh, put some healing on this unit here, actually, but I guess we get to do that anyway, so no big deal. And you get to do way more damage than you need to. <laughs> 31. I was just looking at it thinking Chop is actually way more damage than Hugh. And there's only one unit. And as I was clicking, I realised it has one HP. There's no need to be a dick about it. Why don't we stack these? There we go. Good. We'll camp in this next room. That'll free up some inventory space. It's just a curio. Hopefully, maybe maybe with some scouting. No? Okay. So we'll... Uh... We're camping. We're camping the next room that has combat, or the next. Yeah, I was gonna say the next room after combat, even if it's empty. Keeping vinegar racing. This is helping. Yes, yeah, only plus nine right now. I didn't reorder everybody, but that's okay. We'll just do that. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Hugh will not quite kill the maggot, which is a bit of a shame, but they are surprised, and so am I. We could just hit this, right? If we hit it, we hit, we kill it. Although, historically, that never hits, so... The only real problem here, apart from the fact that that stunned damage to Ellie, who was supposed to be putting it in the back for a reason, didn't stun her, so that's good. Uh, Raccoon does not currently have... Repost. You'll be alright, don't worry about it. We will heal up Ellie. We'll get our repost set up. We will chop this for a considerable amount of damage. Like, I seem to remember that the last time I brought Brian out, he just missed every single fucking time. And I sort of stopped using the unit. I thought, well, we're not doing anything else right now, so we'll bring them out now. Turns out, something's changed. But that was a great round. We almost, um, we almost came out on top. Yeah, I knew this would happen, you see, because we've got so much stuff. I don't really need crests, and I... That's 250, right? Everything else is worth more than that already. So I guess we just don't care. We've got plenty of crests. Crests are a dime a dozen. We can't get rid of the fucking things. There is more thing here. Don't you dare. Littering yeah, we want the thing that stacks. Ah, I want that as well. Oh, I'll be alright. Again, we're here for the money. We're really about the money. And I'm actually tempted maybe to drop some heirlooms just to pick things up that give us money. Of course, there's a, a fight in here, but that's okay. Everyone's in the right place for once. Let's try and advance on something at the back that we hate. Like this. Is it possible to kill any of these? We could crit. Eight to four. That's actually the lowest roll. But at least we hit it. So there is that. Let's not forget, um, it's entirely possible to miss that completely. 
Let's try and de-dodge this then. I mean... Yeah. The trouble with the thing that debuffs the dodge is that it always fucking dodges it. <laughs> it's just a pain in the ass, quite honestly. But At least we've got the repost on Raikuda here. And we can maybe chop this? 11 to 21. We could really do a lot of damage to this. So. Yeah, yeah. My usual philosophy, and I talk about it all the time, kill something. It doesn't matter if you completely overdo it. As long as something's dead, you're already ahead. Like, it's now three against four. Although, it was, it's was, it been three against three all this time. But Ellie is actually doing something. She's providing us with uh, the, the ability to dodge occasionally, which is reducing the amount of incoming damage. So, it's not like she's a useless character. But something that's dead is literally a useless character. What does Creeping Cough cost us? So they have all gone before us. So the damage that we did on the first round was somewhat nullified by the fact that they got to go twice in a row. Minus 20% damage. <coughs> Coughing myself now. Um, not brilliant. At this stage, I'm kind of wishing that I had the Purge. Yeah, keep doing that. Um, also, the runs, less dodge, less match. Less. We kind of want to take some of these units out with Erasmus and Martinus now. We'll do this. Seems like a good idea. It basically was. Can't be salty about that at all. Does that bring you in death range? Mm, in two rounds. I want to do... I want to do this. The reason I want to do this is that it had a good chance of getting rid of that corpse. Puts Raikuda in a position to do the uh, repost attack again, to set a repost again. It gives Brian the opportunity to hew both of these, which actually killed the one I did not expect it to kill. And brought that one into range. So that actually worked out perfectly well, just because it allowed Brian to, to do what we wanted Brian to do. Uh, you eat two food. There we go. There's no point letting all this go to waste. Waste not, want not. There is a battle coming up, so we will probably camp now to try and get rid of some of our stress, because we don't know if the battle is um, going to be a stressy one. So we're camping here. Circle in the dark. The battle may yes, we'll eat as much food as we can, despite the fact that we were full five minutes ago. Gets rid of a lot of the stress, well, uh, an amount of the stress damage. Right. What do we want to do? We want to de-stress basically everybody except for Brian, which is interesting. Massive amount of resistances. Random trinket, not that useful. Your bleeding is three damage. We can probably tank that. I think we're okay. Prevent nighttime ambushed, yes. If has mortality debuffs, not that useful. Can reduce everyone's stress by some, but that's not very good either. Honestly, I think it's more useful to individually target people for stress. Than to try and use a, a group attack on the stress thingy, because most of them aren't religious, I think. Let's try and de-stress Raikuda as well. That seems like a good idea. Because they took a lot of stress damage in that one. In that, um... Just that one previous fight. And of course, Ellie got directly targeted by several stress attacks, which was a bit of a bugger. <clears throat> I don't know if you're religious or not. So I'm not going to risk that. It costs three. I think we want to prevent the nighttime ambush, to be honest. And then we can... Clean guns. Malay, all ranged. Accuracy damage and crit on ranged. More speed, actually, might be worthwhile. Let's do this. And then we'll do this. Just to be sure we don't have to deal with the nighttime ambush. Because that could undo a lot of the work that we just did. So I think it's worth spending for time units, for hours, um, doing that. Is this a good thing? No. I mean, it wasn't a bad thing, so I guess 
<laughs> not coming a cropper of some horrible thing. Is a good thing in the darkest dungeon. Let's go in here. See what we are to be faced with. Oh, Struth. I'm glad we de-stressed ourselves. And the amount of surprising we're getting is in itself surprising. But, you know, it's always a mixed blessing. Can you dodge when you're surprised? Probably. Repost, again, always my go-to on this. I think we'll just use Brian here to whittle this thing down as much as we possibly can. Let's see if we can... It did do some damage as well, so it, it's debuff. That's basically dead. We just need to hit it. We dodged, but we didn't repost. Very interesting. Um, usually when you dodge something, you repost against it, so... It's entirely possible that simply there's no way of... Yeah, just like that. There's maybe not a repostable attack. This is amazing, because if Brian Hughes now... <clears throat> they're both dead. Bring it on. Oh, dead anyway. Now we can spread out the uh, damage a little bit more, which is actually slightly better. Oh. Lead 40%. I think we do this. I'd rather use as much. There's a lot of damage in that, you know. There was the damage we did plus the bleed damage. Whereas we could have just outright killed this and normally I say just kill something, but in this case I know that Brian is basically guaranteed to kill this one and do damage to that. So if we can pile up as much damage as we can on this one at the back, which has some dodge, but not very much. Wow, okay. Um, you know, sinking damage into this one is much more valuable than overkilling this one at this stage. Plus we dodged it, so what the fuck ever, who cares. I'm going to Hugh just to get rid of that corpse. Uh, which worked surprisingly well. Oh, we don't need to do anything. So this could be a knockback on Brian. It actually is. Which is not actually that much of a problem, because in this situation, this thing's basically dead. Um, but these units are not in their optimal positions by any stretch of the imagination at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Crunching backhand. Two dodges. Brilliant. Which is the value of Ellie, I suppose. <laughs> Not in their ideal situations, but we still killed them. But I was going to say, it doesn't actually matter that Doug's in this position. Our, our HP is not that bad right now. Um, I will take the gold. And the reason I will take the gold... Is that it will stack up to 2,000. Now the bus could be useful, but again, like I said I might actually consider getting rid of heirlooms to take more gold on this run. Like I could get rid of all these three quite happily to take something that we get from a secret room, for example. Not against that at all. You are going to be here. Uh, good. There's another battle, and don't forget about this fucking trap. Seriously. You get poisoned! Fine. I mean, the flavor text and the thing that happens don't necessarily match up. 100%, you're doing it. Like, if it's gonna make them violently ill, you would, I would have expected that to be an actual disease, and I'm kinda glad that it's not, because a few HP here and there on one unit is not the end of the world in this situation. Whereas a disease is a horrible thing that we can't get rid of most of the time. So you've actually picked up two diseases in this. We definitely need to send you out with an Erasmus or something. High dodge there, but we could kill it with a crit. At least get it very close without, which is nice. Unfortunately it has been, but everything else hasn't. And all these reposts are just going to wear these things down, which is amazing. Uh, amazing. Oh my god, I can't believe I said amazing like that, you know. Oh, I watch too much TV, I guess. Reeling. Too many internets. That's fine. You're going to have to heal yourself. But oh, you can't. <laughs> bugger, 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 bugger. Okay, fine. Ha! I mean, it did do some damage before it died, but... Look at all the shits I gave. Nah, I'm saying. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, very unlucky. Nah, not that unlucky, but pretty upsetting. We'll put you back in this position because I want to get rid of that corpse. 
I would like, uh, I was going to say Holmesy, but not Holmesy. New Doug to have a go. So that New Doug can heal themselves. Not happening, apparently. We will hew... Nope, we will chop again. Hew doesn't do as much damage, and we would very much like that thing to die ASAP, because it's painful and it hurts. No, no, no. Stun? How? You're shit at this. Uh, I guess we now advance on this. Let's get rid of this. It's causing us diseases and I do not like. Are you targeting this? Because that would suck. Uh, let's do this. Just in case. It helps. <laughs> I don't know if it will help. It didn't necessarily help. So there is a thing we can use the key on here and we will come back to it. If that's sensible. Uh, but. For now. We will hope for a scout that shows us up a secret room. Where is our quest location? Ooh, it did. And it was right by the fucking entrance. Well. Onwards. <laughs> onwards, Christian soldiers. We will prevail. We will battle and we will win. There's a curio. Please don't fuck it up. The sack is empty. Of course it's empty when we get the opportunity to use the person who would find cool stuff in it. It's fine. These are probably some of the worst fights so far because they keep stunning my healer and poisoning my damage dealers. Please kill this. Thank you. I'm tired of you not killing it. And the fact that you did this time means I'm now happy. I'll be honest, this repost is extremely powerful. Like, surprisingly powerful. Just keep this dodge up. It has helped us out a few times already. Ow. That's a lot of damage. We're going to have to keep an eye on you. I think we're going to hew here. See if we can get rid of this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I remember Brian for being. Fucking hew misser. Right, just keep attacking Rakuda and die. Don't mind the stress. Obviously the stress sticks around. But, um... I guess what are going to do? Is this too knockback? Yes. Get thee back there. No, this... Fine. <laughs> I don't mind that you sort of mutually dodge one another. That is also okay. It's actually only an 81% chance to hit. Which is very interesting because a 1 in 5 chance to miss is a lot of damage over the course of a, you know, a, a normal run. Stun the one at the back, I don't care. We're going to have to heal this unit, which was not a very good roll, unfortunately. But everyone's basically at some health, which is okay. If you open vein this, what's your... You could kill that with that, but not with that. Do it. Is he dead? No, of course he's not fucking dead. You only had to roll one higher to outright kill that, but you didn't. Did you? It's alright, it's dead. We completely wasted the shit out of it. Uh, I will make sure that Brian doesn't die from this bleed. That should be more than enough. Two rounds left, six damage. Whatever. Um. Can you kill that? <laughs> Some damage. It's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. That would have been enough. Splendid. Let's take all of this, what we can anyway. 500 gold is a significant amount of gold. We've got a whole extra stack of food. So we'll take this. I don't care about the rest, to be quite honest with you. Bringing back some heirlooms is fine, but uh, I'm not that um, concerned about it, to be honest. Uh, we're fine for this one more battle, I think. Unless it's horrendous, which it kind of is, so why are you in that position? Oh, God. <laughs> it's okay that you're going first. Having some extra dodge right from the beginning may actually save us uh, a few problems here. 
You did resist the move, which I kind of expected. You have very high move resistance. Um, and your job is basically going to be... Ooh, less damage, less accuracy. And it does do some damage itself. It's probably worth doing. We can debuff this properly. Reduce its damage was quite a lot. Yeah, you missed. We do have to worry, actually, looking at that, whether Ellie will uh, reach maximum stress and flip out. Become afflicted. We can pray is... Eh, it was a mark, but whatever. So now we'll advance on... We'll keep attacking this one, I think. The only reason I'm attacking this one and not that one, because much of a muchness, in my opinion, which one you actually go for. Except for the fact that this one's already half dead. So just kill it, right? Leave this one alive. It's obviously doing us some damage. We don't repost that, apparently, so... Okay, then. We'll increase the light level for our very last torch. Just in time, because basically the torch only has to get us to that room there. Um, be happy with it, I suppose. We'll keep chopping it. For a crit. That's actually really, really good. A crit on something that is basically a debuff. Which it obviously uh, completely failed to take effect, but... It's kind of, the fact that the debuff didn't take effect is kind of made up for by the fact that we got a crit, so whatever. The uh, corpse did move, which is interesting. The size of that pistol compared to the size of that thing. Yeah, keep doing that. More dodges is less damage, and I'm very happy to accept that. Thank you. But you've basically done most good to yourself right now. I am going to start doing this. That actually increases the torch light as well, which is nice, but having no dodge on there means we can beat the crap out of it. Seems to have quite a lot of protection. We'll advance. And we'll keep doing this little dance. I honestly don't think we can do anything to this besides, you know, defend against it with this buff. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, two rounds. Another crit, perfect. Executed. So having these two at the front, it's the same as having Psycho or Ed here. Um, uh, uh, Highwaymen and uh, a tanky unit can dance around one another quite well. Might as well um, heal everybody, I guess. We all only could do a little bit. Two crits on that is really good, and it brings down some stress slightly, to the extent that now, in fact, Raikuda may not even need therapy. That was a very bad roll, unfortunately. And you are now at the back, which is actually not what I wanted. Oh, bugger. Didn't realise you had such low move. Oh, you got pretty high move resist. You still fucking didn't fucking... Oh, I hate you. Can you throw something at him? Is that too much to ask? Three to five. I'm actually going to do that. Because now it's only four damage. So next turn, Raikuda gets to kill it. That's what we want. Well, you get to kill it. You didn't. No, you don't. You get to go, don't you? Throw it at Raikuda. Throw a skull at Raikuda. Ah, oh, fair enough. Pistol shot. Sure. I don't really care for this shovel. We will go to the quest location first. Then, after that... Ooh, good. Perfect. They stack really high as well. Ten of them. Then we will have space... Shush. In our inventory. To not have to throw away too much stuff. We'll put this here. We will get one more from this. Continue adventuring. That's exactly what I want to do. We will go here. We will wander on to here. We will put the key in here. We have handsome reward. enough room to get rid of this. Well Yoink! And then we'll go home. That's a lot of money. How extremely likely, unlikely it would be to have discovered that secret room on a run with the Antiquarian. We've got 15,000, 16,000, 20,000 just from the stuff we found. Another 6,000 from everything else. That's outrageous. Now we do have to spend maybe a little bit of money on reducing, especially Ellie's um, stress level here. Everyone else is pretty okay. Maybe uh, Viva Phonics the second here? Maybe not. 
could give them some trinket. Oh, well, maybe not a trinket, but they could have something that reduces that. Uh, not allowed to gamble. More beast damage. And bad humors. So you're definitely going on a journey with the grave robber. You'll enjoy it, don't worry. Everyone needs to now. That's pretty good. That's very excellent. Brian is now level 5. Which means Brian can come with us on something. Fresh air in the tunnels. No longer exhale the toxic stench of degeneracy. More resolve XP in the Warrens. And more damage in the Warrens. So all of these people, except Miri, who has not come back, has... Look at this. <laughs> Miri has become one with pain and refuses to stop flagellating yet. You heard it here first. All of these people, even Marie, who had diseases cured for free, don't forget that, it wasn't just stress, diseases too. Imzum, wasting sickness. Oh, new quote, calm. Has anybody lost anything? Psycho has not yet left, left flagellation. And Miri has not let, yet left flagellation. Maybe they're flagellating one another. Possible. Uh, this is fine. Fear of Beasts is worse than Tiplo, in my opinion. You've got double... Okay, you've gained double vision, which is bad. You've got... You've lost bloody dice, which we never used anyway. Oh, goodness me. What else is people doing? Of course, there are reasons... That <laughs> bad things can happen, even if you try and do nice things. Uh, and a town event of the Fresh Air Tunnels. So no one really lost anything that we care about. And Warrior of Light is now a permanent thing on Erasmus, which means Erasmus has... Permanent plus 10% damage all the time because we always keep the torch up that high. Now our options are so far open, it's a very easy setup for a very lewd joke that I'm not going to make. In the next episode, I guess we make something good out of the Warrens, which is where we've just been, so we might as well go back. There is a boss to beat in there, so that could be good. Uh, and we have enough money, possibly, to upgrade enough people to actually go there and survive, which is outrageous. We definitely want to take Tim 2.0. Let's, um, let's see how much it's going to cost to upgrade Tim 2.0. Like, 10 grand? What about your guildiness? Some of these could do with upgrading as well, but not necessarily all of them. Uh, I forget. I'm pretty sure the little shit sits at the back <clears throat> of the Swine King. The swine God. So, <clears throat> Iron Swan will not be too much use to us there. That being said, we will want to kill it eventually. Honestly, we've got a decent team right here. Right here! Jekry will be amazing in the Warrens to help us cure uh, the Blight and Bleeds that we got a lot of just now. D or Zeke would be uh, an excellent choice as the healer. Pete or me as a damage dealer. Because Pete can reduce a lot of the incoming damage. We can basically do the same trick as we did with the Prophet. By uh, constantly applying the vulnerability note. Weakening curse. Over and over again to the boss. Until it capitulates, right? Anyway, that could be a great idea. And then everyone gets way more XP and probably takes less stress damage. More resolve XP. More damage, just straight up more damage. So that could be a good idea. And I think I'm going to do that, but I'll decide between now and whenever I record that. And I hope that you have enjoyed me recording this one now. Thank you for watching it. If you uh, did enjoy it, please put a like on the video uh, and share it with your bestest mates what love this sort of shit. Uh, and if you do that, I will be happy. Uh, I can't actually you know, reward you in any respect. I mean, material possessions are not the only thing in this life. You could just do something for the gratitude of a struggling YouTuber trying to make way in this crazy world of shit. Look, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.